horses look really big and sturdy. They look like hardy animals that should be able to withstand extremes. Well, it ends up that that's mostly not true. They are sensitive and need attention and care. Quite a bit of it. So, a little bit of automation to help my wife with that required attention and care? Sure. How could I pass on that opportunity? I feel like I'm finally ready to talk about my smart barn. I'm pretty pleased with the current iteration, and here's the components and how they all work together. One is the cameras, and I'll start with the camera hardware because I think it's the easiest to explain. I made a previous video about how I connect these cameras to Apple Home, and I'll link to that up in the corner and then in the description. These are really just basic Wi-Fi 2K cameras, but how they stream to the Home app is kind of the magic. And you can check that out in the other video if you want to know more about the cameras. Now, beyond just the connectivity, these cameras are available in the Apple Home app and they record motion. We use them to check on the horses at night and when we're out of town, there's really not too much else to say about that. Two is the internet. There's been more than one video about my barn internet. As of now, I'm really satisfied with the current setup. My whole house is connected with Ubiquiti equipment and the connectivity is pretty solid. Again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this since there are a bunch of other videos and they're linked in the description as well. Number three is the sensors. Okay, now we're going to get into the good stuff. First thing to discuss is this little sensor that hangs out of the rafters of the barn. There's not a lot to it, but it's a temperature and humidity sensor wired to an ESP32. On the ESP32, I'm running ESP Home as a simple way to get the sensor data into Home Assistant. I'll link to the actual parts I used and the simple wiring necessary in the description. I also have a video about setting up ESP Home and I'll link to that as well. The sensor obviously measures the temperature and humidity in the barn, but what I do with the data, I'll get to in just a minute. Number four is the fans and smart switches. I have these three fans. These are mounted in each of the horse's stalls and designed specifically for use in dusty and kind of exposed situations. The electrical parts are enclosed to reduce the risk of fire. Now the fans on their own really aren't that big of a deal, but I have them plugged into these smart plugs. Again, I'll link to these plugs if you're interested, but the combination of smart plug on the fan, plus knowing the temperature and humidity in the barn, make for a pretty powerful combination. So now, let's get into the software where all of that magic happens. In case you didn't guess it already, I'm doing some fun stuff in Home Assistant to make these fans come on when needed, as well as make them adjustable in case we need to turn them on manually or adjust the parameters for when they turn on and off. So here's what I did. The first step to making this happen was to create a formula for the real field temperature. Now, I know this is not 100% necessary, but we have some pretty serious humidity here in the Great Lakes region, so it makes sense to take humidity into account when deciding if the horses need their fans. To do this, I created a template that takes the humidity and the temperature in the barn and spits out the feels-like temperature. Next, I needed all three fans to act as one. This is pretty simple. Just create a group helper in Home Assistant. This allows all three to be turned on and off at the same time. Note that this group is a switch group and not a fan group. Since to Home Assistant, these are just smart outlets, not actually fans. Next, I want these to be easily adjustable. To do this, I manually created a thermostat entity in Home Assistant. Creating a thermostat is pretty easy in Home Assistant. All you need is something that provides the temperature and something that should be turned on and off based on that temperature. In this case, I've toggled the AC mode feature that tells the thermostat to enable when the temperature is above the threshold. Now, obviously the fans will never actually cool the barn, but as the temperature naturally rises and falls, the thermostat will turn the fan group on and off. So now I have an adjustable thermostat that controls these fans based on the feels like temperature in the barn. But there's one more thing to consider. I don't really want these fans turning on and off all day. Most of the day, these horses are outside and these fans would just be running for no reason. To fix this, I create an automation that based on the time of day will turn the thermostat on or off, just like a real thermostat. If it's turned off, it just won't control the fans at all. So problem solved there. And finally, since I personally like using the Apple Home app, I exported the thermostat using the HomeKit bridge integration and Home Assistant. 
Now I have an adjustable thermostat widget in my home app that I can easily control should I need to just adjust the temperature or turn on or off the thermostat in an unscheduled time. And here's the final product. You can see that when I load up the barn in my home app, there is a lot going on here. It's pretty smart for a barn, right? So all of that is why I think it's safe to say that my barn is probably smarter than your house. Also, I'm not sure that's true for everyone. That would be impossible. But it ends up that YouTube videos with comments do better than the ones without. And it's late enough in this video now that the angry people would have already left their comments to prove me wrong. So if you're still here, thank you for watching. If you'd like to leave a non-angry comment or a like, I would appreciate it. This is all done in fun, and honestly, I like to rile people up a little bit. Again, thank you for sticking all the way to the end. I hope that maybe I've given you some inspiration, and I hope I helped you learn faster.